today, 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 we got a battle guide for you guys that I am excited to go over. Um, I don't know if you guys already checked out other people's battle guides, but hey, I used to play Budokai Tenkaichi 3 a lot in the past, and so has others. But I'm telling you, this is all of this is coming from a uh, you know a BT3 uh, minor professional, but for what I discovered in this game, um, you guys should definitely check it out if you want if you want to increase your skill in uh, Sparking Zero. What I'm going to show you can be applied to almost any character, so it doesn't really matter. I split up this combat guide into five sections. We have movement, punching, grab, guarding, and skill. So those are the five things you guys want to always remember when it comes down to the full combat potential of this game. Starting with movement, you already know the analog stick for your boy helps rotate the, uh, the character. Um, you know, you have flying up. By the way, oh shit, I play on classic. So if you guys are trying to learn classic, this is a perfect guide for you. But at the same time, if you're already comfortable with standard, I would say um, if you're trying to learn the combo aspect of this video, just try to try to remember the animation. But we have movement. Um, movement in this game, especially during during combat, is important because you can punch them and then you can do this side step. You can do it backwards. You can go forward. And then if you do it close to them, it does this dodge. So it's like you're still doing the same thing, you know? But if you go forward, it's just a dodge. It's like a neutral one. With movement, you also have like teleporting. So for me, if you click circle while you fight, you, you like vanish. So you square, square, circle, square, square, circle. And then, yeah, you can do it backwards. You can do it forward. That's basically it. But you can use that to, um, yeah, even one punch, I think. Now, if your opponent were to teleport behind you, I think if you just click circle once, it will teleport behind them. Now, if you click X and circle, you get like a little two-piece one. I, I've been trying to test this out. Not everybody can do it, but most people, most fighters, I guess, like well-experienced fighters could do it. So you can even get like, well, actually a two-stage dodge, yeah. So you can go one, two, or one, two, and that can help you during combat. Um, because the button you want to follow up after that is a triangle. So square is the punching, triangle is the key blast. You want to do like a wee weep triangle. See? Now some characters only have the one, so you can just do weep punch. And there you go. Now you've been seeing me do the punching, and then, you know, every character has their own square triangle, square square triangle, square 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 triangle, or a square 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 triangle right every character has a different setup so you just got a player character to just get used to um where his moves are like located like which squares work for what if you like gun punches more if you like the turning around move more you just got to learn it or um unlike me i just play with randoms and i just fight like oh okay his third punch does that and i'll try to remember each match with every different character but if you do have mains that's one thing you want to uh, pay close attention to because with the um you know with those you get different set of potentials so if you do the one with the high kicks if they're blocking it kind of staggers them because they got to block high for that now if you're doing the one with the turning around um i think you just got to block neutral for that but say they get you, you want to kind of like just spam the, the side step for that to get out of that. Or practice your Z counters, which is going to be another thing that we go over. You got the key blast. I think this key wave is always good to just charge it if you want this to work. And then it has a follow up combo by just clicking triangle. So I think the turning around move does too, yeah. So if you turn them around, you can do the oh no, triangle, triangle, square. So triangle, triangle, square. If they're always blocking or if they're doing one of these counters, you just uh, grab them. So you you know click X twice to grab. You can always dash after them like this. To get into that counter state though, you want to block 
and you want to click triangle and then it's it like drains all your key so you can hold it as long as you want as long as you have key but the thing is is that if you attack them when they're doing that they're always going to counter you so the best way to get around it is you want to either to do the side the side evasion dodge or um grabbing another popular way too to get over that is just key blast key blast would just dagger that the one consequential thing though with these chains is that if you do the same thing twice it would make you drop the combo and that's the punishing so you got to make sure you mix up your combos if you want to do it longer so you know uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Bye. One thing that I do like in this game is that they extended the basic neutral combo to two times. So, and then you would have to do something to continue it, right? Now you can do square, 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 x, square, 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 x, square, 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 and then it ends. So they extended it by one more time in this sequel. So I like that because now you have more strings to add in to make it diverse. Now, one thing that you have been seeing me do recently is punching. Now, one thing I did like doing in Tenkaichi a lot is I like punching and then I like doing the heavy punches. There's also a special punch where if you release at the right time, you can teleport with it. Boom, right? But there's a special punch I like doing. And this special punch, you have to like, it's, it's kind of different in this game. Um, Tink IT3 was a lot more easier. And this one, since everything feels more weighted, it does have a different time release window. So you got to like hold it longer. And it's, um, there you go. It's like a light heavy. That's like the best way to call it. So you hold it, but you release really quick. If you um, hold it too hard, you can push them further away than what you want. Now, if you do the combo, boom love window boom 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 you know you can have more fun with your combo extensions it catches them off guard because it looks like you're going to do a charge so they might want to do something but it comes out quicker than the charge so it just throws them off but look you can fumble it it does give them a chance to um step vanish out of it but you know they also can fumble it which gives you a chance to extend your combo. What you don't want to do is like, look, now look, I couldn't do it that third time because I released it. I was just messing up. You just got to remember it's kind of heavy, but it's quick. So you do that little stagger. Now for this game, you can do square and then triangle down, which will do a, a sweep or a square and then a triangle up, which will do a kick. If you do the sweep, um it leaves them vulnerable of course to super attacks anything almost you can even leave a um if you charge it you can make it turn into a kick you know you can even do the kick and the sweep vice versa uh another follow-up you want to do with the sweep is you can grab them now not all characters can do that so you just got to like be aware of what your character can and cannot do in order to extend those combos um you know, hyper dash. I'll go over that right now. But um, if you do the kick, you just click X to do the follow up, and then it'll teleport you to there, and then just click square, square, square. And that's how you can do the kick follow up combo. Kick, X, square, 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 triangle. Um, I think it doesn't matter how many times you. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many times you click square, as long as you always click triangle, it's going to smash them. You could like stagger your opponent by, um, you know, jumping up, square, 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 boom. Or do the gut punch, and then that will extend your combo. So that right there, I just waited and I held X. Or I clicked X and I held square to do that, right? Boom. But somehow when you do the kick, it kind of like stops their fall if they're already flying from this right here. A lot of people already know this because a lot of like, we call it, it's the wimp way out, bro. If you do this online, I'm sorry. You do not have the balls unless you do it like respectfully. Like they have one bar of HP, you know, that would be cool. If you're doing it like right at the beginning of the fight, cheesy. Now it's where you will get your ultimate because it does set them open for anything unless they can do the 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 vanish 
and you'll kick him. Look at him. He's, he's just very open. Even when he's on the floor, he's open. So, when you're like this, though, your squares are more infinite. Alright? They're more infinite. Um, one thing is that if you do the heavy the heavy one, you can click X and then square again. And then you can click triangle to vanish. And then you can end it with circle, which brings them back down. So, you can... Um, Mix match with those so you can even start off with the vanish first, the triangle, then the X. Oops, so yeah. Vanish, X, square, and then you can end it with circle. Now, you've seen that this time I did like a little zigzag. To do that, you have to click triangle while you dash. So normally you can just click X and then square again. But if you want to do the little zigzag, you just click triangle while you're doing, while you click X. Or after you click X. So X, triangle, square. And then you can do, you know, your extra vanish because you haven't done it yet. This can also be done with grabs as well. So after you dash out there, grab. This also can be done after a combo. So if you kick them and then usually they recover and then you can just lead that into a combo. When you go into sparking mode, and you're dashing like this, you click L2 and X. If you start clicking circle, you get into like this hyper mode. Normally, if you just click circle, you can do this. But I guess that's the new animation for if you're dashing in this state. So yeah, you can just do this. But now they have it that if you're doing this, you can do circle now, which is awesome. But that that one chain that I, so I showed you guys earlier where you can punch or teleport, when you're in sparking mode, it increases by two more times. So you can do another dash, another dash, a triangle, a triangle, and then the circle. And then, so yeah, you have five more for your extension. Um, all four of those possibilities can be mixed match. So you can do a dash, and then a vanishing, and then a dash, and then the vanishing, or a dash, a vanish, a vanish, a dash, or you can make them all vanishing or all dashes. Whatever your choice is, just remember there's four of them when you're in that state. And just end it with the cherry on top by clicking circle. Guarding, I already told you guys, if you click circle and triangle, you get into your counter state, which drains your key. If you click circle and triangle right before they hit you, you can initiate a uh, sonic sway, which I don't think I can... So he did the Z counter. That's clicking up and square on the... Um, up on the d-pad and square or even up on the analog stick and square at the same time right on impact if you have stock okay he countered that but if you had stock you can click l1 twice and it allowed me to recover to punch him since he had stock as well you can counter that counter by pressing circle and triangle um and you can catch it like this now for that what he just showcased was clicking circle right on point allows him to just vanish like that you can do it when you get punched you can time circle for anything and it allows you to vanish you just gotta time it well this can save you from um regular hits like that clicking circle right on time can save you from ultimate attacks if you can time it well circle is legit the savior for this game it balances everything and it also allows it to become a skill thing so if your circle timing is on point then it's really just a skill issue right a counter a countering skill issue but um i think that's pretty much oh there is one more thing when it comes to combat be aware of your your character's skills so they do have you know the l2 triangle and then the l2 up triangle for you to do your first and second skill and then l2 down triangle for your ult but for this game l2 circle has you know little accessibilities in combat like for me gohan he can get out of people's combats with explosive. If I had my stock all the way up to three, I can do full power, which would allow me to get into my sparking state a lot quicker. So I don't have to charge it up and then the player interrupt. So there's little uh, perks like that that you can do. You can even have characters that can just completely paralyze the opponent. So just be aware of your character skill and that can help give you a little, a little hand in combat. Um, I can make another video in the future going over how to complete clashing, but I feel like in terms of combat, that's really much 
that's pretty much everything you can do. Just know that in a grab, click L2 and X to initiate the dash, and then you can extend that. To, you know, almost dodge every attack, just click circle right before it hits you, but get comfortable with the timing. Same thing with Z count, up and square. I can't make him do, oh, there we go. We got Sonic Sway footage. So he clicked circle and triangle right before I hit him, and then you can do that. Look, that was a L1 twice move. That was an up and square Z counter. All right. Trying to, that was a circle and triangle right at hit. He did this right when I got hit. Okay. That was a, all right, all right. So I'm trying to get him to do Sonic Sway one more time. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or any curiosities on how I do my moves, I do live stream this um, and do ranked and also I fight you guys. So if you have any questions on how to do any gameplay mechanics, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be I'll be sure to do my best in explaining it the best I can. But um, yeah, for the most part, that's basically what you want to know in terms of um, fighting in, in this game. Especially with the, the controls being for classic. Now, if they always block and do counter, remember, key blast helps also doing the side steps. And don't forget that clicking circle while you fight teleports behind the player. Um, and it's basically it. Yeah, have fun with that chess game.